Hey, Beans! I'm sure you all know, Animal Jam has been around for quite a long time, at least for a video game that is. There are so many easter eggs and hidden things that people haven't picked up on that I've created an entire series in which I review 5 to 6 of these things in one video. So I hope you enjoy 6 things that you probably didn't know about Animal Jam. Some of these are so obscure I didn't even know about them until I started making this video. So I hope you learned something and I hope you enjoy. One thing I actually didn't even notice until I started making this video is that once you start walking in the shadow of a tree in Appendale, the shadow actually affects your name tag. I don't think this happens with any other shadow in any other land, but for some reason the tree in Kambara Outback has this really high quality effect, which I must admit really does make the game feel more polished and makes movement feel a lot better. We've all seen the beautiful fall decorations Animal Jam puts up every year, but did you know that during this period Animal Jam actually makes some really cool minute little changes that make the game so much cooler? I'm not sure if it's just a filter on the actual Jamaa Township to make it look more folly, but Animal Jam actually changes the color of the leaves in the background to make them look more folly. They literally take the time to even go into the corner of the background and change the color of the leaves just to make it look more accurate. I also don't know if you've noticed this, but they've added a little ladybug that spawns every single time and it's totally random every time it spawns, so the first time it may look normal, but then it will start looking pink or maybe blue and then it will get some really weird colors and patterns going on. I think that's just a hilarious little addition. In the same spot, they actually change the colors of the posters on Club Geos for autumn every year, which I think is really cool. And again, this just goes to show how much effort Animal Jam actually puts into decorating the mainland. And let me tell you, it works. It's awesome. I mean, I honestly am never hyped for Christmas until I get on Animal Jam and it's Jam holidays. They just do such a good job with the music and the lands of just making the holidays awesome. So thank you, you guys, for all these little details that make this so much better. Another thing that I find quite cool is that if you type in the word R-L-Y and then press enter, it comes out as really. So basically Animal Jam takes the abbreviation and automatically corrects it for you. It makes me really curious though. I wonder if any other abbreviations have similar features like this, where Animal Jam's chat automatically expands them into what they're meant to be. So everyone knows that flying animals can fly around passageways and they don't have to worry about actually staying on the path. However, one thing that most people don't know is that there actually are places on the map where flying animals can't go. One example is this beehive in Coral Canyons. Even when I click directly on it, my animal still flies around it. And the second is the little pool next to Tyranny's Aquarium. You can't go on top of it, even though you can go on all sides of it. I'm sure Animal Jam did this on purpose, but it's so interesting to wonder why exactly they did this. I don't know, I find it something very cool. It'd be awesome if someone could actually get on top of one of these because, well, you'd be the first person ever to step on this area. I'm sure you've all logged in and done the daily spin a million times. You click the wheel, it spins, it gives you your gems, and then it closes. Well, actually, that doesn't always happen. If you get a gift on the daily spin, it won't actually close automatically. When you get your gifts, you go through the routine process of just accepting the gifts, putting them in your inventory, but when you close them, the daily spin doesn't actually close on its own. You have to press the X button on your own. This is definitely a glitch because Animal Jam has programmed it so the daily spin closes on its own after you get your prizes. And the final thing, and the biggest thing that none of you knew, is that there is a land called Kambara Outback. It's actually in the bottom corner. Okay, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Inside Gabby's new animal hospital, and this was in the medical center as well, is this little vision test thing in the corner. But if you actually look really closely, you'll notice that it says all the alpha's names. You have Greeley, Liza, Cosmo, Graham. I mean, look at that. They hid all these little secrets in here. It's just so cool to wander around Animal Jam and just find little secrets like these. Anyways, Beans, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned a little something in this video. I tried to change the style a little bit from my Did You Know videos, even though it's a similar idea. So I hope you enjoyed watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!